What is going on, Cardano community? Welcome to DAP Central. My name is Farid. Today, we're going to be jumping into a pretty big announcement surrounding Midnight, a data protection blockchain, which is going to be launching using Substrate, the SDK for the Polkadot network. However, it's going to be running as a partner chain connected to Cardano. Now we're going to jump right on in. I want to touch on a couple of things, but the biggest piece of news here is that the DevNet for Midnight is officially live. So this was posted by the official Midnight account on Twitter, which I'll leave the link to that particular platform down in the description. So it states 100 Midnight pioneers have been selected to access the early alpha release of the brand new blockchain. As a part of this early access, they'll be able to create data protecting apps on a private network, testing ideas and improving the functionality of Midnight for the near future. Now, I know a handful, some of them are SPOs right now, including Conrad or um, the Blade Pool. We've also got members, for example, from the Cardano community who are actually builders or projects, which include Iagon. So um, it seems like the Midnight team has inducted not only projects, but also SPOs or direct contributors to the Cardano network. Now, if you have not made it in as a part of the DevNet, no need to worry. The team will continue to grow out their alpha, onboarding more and more users as time goes on. I will leave the link to the official form down below if you guys are interested in actually signing up to be a DevNet pioneer. One last thing to note here that should be pretty interesting to see grow and develop will be the actual types of application that are going to be built and launched on midnight. Again, because this is going to be having a focus on data privacy and security for enterprise or bigger corporations, they may not have the same wants and needs as the average person right now interacting on Cardano. So for example, a platform like a DEX that will basically facilitate swapping of tokens may not be as necessary to an enterprise looking to securely store their network on a blockchain. Similarly, with DeFi lending and borrowing platforms, institutional players that have their own product may not need to borrow or lend their own assets. So that's one thing that I'm really curious to see is exactly what types of dApps are going to be developed by the early pioneers getting access to the DevNet. If you have any ideas or thoughts, then definitely make sure to leave those down below in the comment section. If I jump over into their official website here, this breaks everything down about Midnight. Again, basically highlighting some of the key strengths here when it comes to enterprise adoption and the fact that enterprises will need a chain in order to transact, but make sure to do that in a private way. So that's exactly where Midnight comes in. Now, there's been a lot of chat just surrounding what Midnight is going to be doing and what Midnight is not going to be doing. And there's just been so many unanswered questions over the past couple of weeks. We did hear from Charles Hoskinson, as well as Aaron Barak, who is going to be the CEO of Midnight at the recent Cardano Summit, where they talked about interoperability and they actually brought off a new concept called partner chains. So what I want to do is briefly jump into this recent article released by IOG touching on partner chains and just the importance of what we could pot potentially have with this brand new framework utilizing the Cardano network for settlement. So jumping over into this particular article, this was released just about a week ago by Mike Ward, the chief product officer over at IOG. So it states partner chains are officially coming to Cardano. Now, simply put, what this is going to be doing is utilizing Cardano as a settlement layer while allowing for partner chains, which are not going to be bridges or side chains. Again, that's why they're using this new terminology to be able to operate using their own consensus mechanism, again, with a leveraging of Cardano's settlement layer. So it states partner chains will revolutionize how new blockchains are launched and operated by combining modular blockchain technology with Cardano's proven security, liquidity and reliability. With Cardano's EUTXO model, we have a lot of robustness, especially when it comes to security. However, we've had some hurdles onboarding new developers, given how difficult it is to understand Plutus and Haskell. 
So this brand new partner chain approach will hopefully simplify that while also continuing to give ADA more and more utility. Now, partner chains will gain these benefits, those that I just listed, without the lock-in of any network or technology stack. So you could potentially imagine that as we begin to get more partner chains, even though Cardano is a proof of stake network, those partner chains can run their own computational layer or have their own consensus mechanisms. And then again, everything that happens on that is then settled on Cardano. So Midnight itself will not be built utilizing the same framework as Cardano. I believe it's going to be um, utilizing TypeScript, which should be a lot more easy or a lot more user friendly, therefore allowing for more people to come into that particular ecosystem system. Now, the next portion of this article is going to be jumping into the CSL or the Cardano settlement layer versus the CCL, the Cardano computational layer. So the settlement layer on Cardano, which is going to be referred to as the CSL, is going to be responsible for managing the transfer of ADA or the native governance token between users on the network. Whereas the CCL or the Cardano computational layer is going to be responsible for executing smart contracts on the network. And another cool thing about this particular layer is that it's going to be designed to be flexible and modular, allowing for development of, of wide range of applications and services. Continuing on in the article, it states Cardano is designed with a separation of the Cardano settlement layer or the CSL from the Cardano computational layer or the CCL. Now the CSL, the settlement layer has proven to be robust and scalable forming the ultimate cross-chain settlement layer. With partner chains, networks will have the power to build their own computational layer or CCL, leveraging a modular framework and existing components, yet still leveraging the CSL or the Cardano settlement layer across chains. Now, Midnight will be the first uh, particular blockchain or the first partner chain utilizing this brand new framework. So again, Midnight will be built utilizing Substrate a Polkadot native um, SDK or software development kit, but they'll be utilizing the Cardano settlement layer. Again, um, the protection provided by single stake pool operators or just stake pool operators, I should say in general, um, for the Cardano community. Now, in return, what the SPOs as well as Cardano community members will be earning will be the DUST token, the native governance token for the Midnight Network. So if a SPO that you're delegating to is a pioneer or a supporter of the Midnight Partner chain, they'll actually be rewarded the DUST token and that will then be distributed to anybody delegating to that stake pool. So what I see here is that over the course of the next couple of months, especially as this rolls out on the main net, we're gonna start to see some of these SPO pioneers gaining a lot more delegation if they're able to reward their current delegators, not only with ADA, but also with DUST. Now, keep in mind that this is going to be the very first partner chain. And as we get additional partner chains, I would assume that the same exact construct will follow. So you could potentially be delegating to a single stake pool where you're then receiving ADA rewards as well as dust and then any other native governance tokens for any other partner chains that your particular SPO is supporting. Now, this is right now just a lot of speculation. There's still a, a ton of information that we don't have when it comes to midnight and just this brand new partner chain infrastructure. Nonetheless, I did want to highlight the fact that the midnight DevNet is finally available. If you guys want to check out the entire midnight website, I'll leave it down below. It's available at midnight.network. As I mentioned, there's still a bit of information that we just don't have when it comes to midnight. And so I'll be doing my due diligence and trying to provide you guys with more information surrounding that in the near future. As I get ready to close out today's video, I will be interviewing Aaron Barak here this coming Friday. If you guys have any questions surrounding Midnight, please leave them down below. Again, I know that this construct is brand new and there's just been a lot of questions, which some of them we've gotten answers to, but some of them the team has just not been able to provide us with any kind of clarity on given how early they are in the developmental process. Now, some of the things that we are still awaiting answers on 
include the following. So first things first is going to be the tokenomics. That is arguably the biggest piece of information that we need to better understand exactly how Midnight will be launching and how beneficial it could be to actually stake or delegate to an SPO utilizing or um, providing security for the Midnight Network. So I will definitely ask Aaron about that once he comes on the channel, if he's got any additional information that he can share surrounding the tokenomics for the Midnight Network. Now, another thing that we still don't have clarity on is going to be the actual timeline for the Dust airdrop. So this was announced during the Cardano Summit that all ADA holders will actually receive an airdrop for Dust or um, to gain the Dust token, again, the governance token for the Midnight Network. But exactly how much um, Dust will be allocated out of the total supply has still yet to be confirmed. And then on top of that, we're not sure if there's going to be some sort of calculation to figure out exactly how much Dust every ADA holder gets or if it's going to be a flat rate regardless of how much ADA you hold. So again, a lot of unanswered questions, but we do want to get some clarity surrounding that, hopefully from IOG and Aaron Barak over the next couple of months. Now, we still don't have the actual timeline launch for the main net either, which is going to be one of the biggest pieces here um, that we could probably press Aaron on in our upcoming interview. So I want to just quickly provide you guys with that update. As it stands right now, we have the dev net for midnight officially live. This was just released earlier today and we could probably expect to get some feedback and our initial thoughts from some of the pioneers here in the next couple of days. So I'll reach out to them personally. If I can get them on the channel for an interview, that would be great. But if you guys have enjoyed today's video, as always, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the DAP Central YouTube channel and you want more content like this surrounding the top builders on Cardano, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me or um, just any topics that you want to discuss, feel free to leave those down below in the comments section. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.